Chairman, Mayor Bowser, is the District of Columbia more dangerous during your tenure? Congresswoman, as you have heard, uh, we have experienced over the last 10 years decreases in violent crime, all categories of crime. Uh, you also heard me talk about in my testimony, especially in the in the last three years, um, being very what concerned. What about since last year, Mayor? What about it? Is it more dangerous this year than it was last year? I'm going to ask the I, chief I, to, to, well, to asking, give you the data. I'm asking, Mayor, um, because I see the crime is up 27 percent. That doesn't sound like a decrease to me. Um, violent crime is up 13 percent. And in 2020 and 2021, uh, the city recorded more than 200 homicides in consecutive years for the first time in 20 years. So is, is Washington, D.C. more dangerous now that you're in office? The nation is more dangerous with more guns and more violence. We're, we're talking about Washington, D.C. here, and um, I, we have also seen that um, the police budget has been cut, $15 million in, in 2020, Mayor. Um, do you think that this contributes to an increase in crime? I think a lot of things have contributed to increases in crime across the country. What about in Washington, D.C.? Do you think that the $15 million budget cut to MPD in 2020 caused an increase in crime here in the District of Columbia? I think that we need to have 4,000 police officers um, over the course of the last several years. So you want more police officers? Yes. Um, well, in the past, you've hired on average 300 new police officers each year, um, but in 2022, you hired 103. Um, that's 200 less, and now you're advocating for more police officers after cutting their budget and hiring 200 less police officers. I've advocated for more police every day as mayor of the District of Columbia. When I became mayor, we were facing a uh, retirement bubble, uh, and we set a course at that time um, for hiring and retention. So do you believe that Washington, D.C. would be safer and more secure if you hired more police officers rather than decreasing the number of recruitment by 200? We're not decreasing recruitment, um, but we are facing, as cities um, in police departments around the country, less interest um, in joining police Why departments. Why do you think that is? Do you think I that think our police that officers have been demonized because of the rhetoric that is flowing from this city and many other cities across our nation? I think that policing is a tough job. Um, I would and agree. And it's, it's a job that has grown uh, tougher. Uh, over the years, uh, and I think that particularly when do you think it became more tough? Maybe when they were attacked for doing their jobs, protecting citizens, uh, I when they lost their funding. Congressman, if I'm allowed to speak, I'll yes, answer you, but I'm not going to talk over you. Uh, and so we have, it has been my experience in the last eight years that we have had to use more incentives uh, and we have investigated and researched what it's going to take to attract young people to come into policing. One thing that we have done in Do the district, for example, is to create a police academy that we're very proud of. Chief Conti, in fact, joined the police academy when he was 17 years thank, thank old you, and rose you, through Mayor. the ranks I, we, we to don't, be chief I don't need police. to hear about childhood um, issues here. Well, so, this is, no, this no, is no, how no. we get this is how that, we Do get you fund police. the police signs around District of Columbia and advocating for this? I is, didn't advocate is to defund the police.